along that line, Dr. America, mm -hmm. Sanjeev Sriram, I, I, there have been some interesting developments in the world of uh, vaccination. We have anti-vaxxers, as they're known. There are many of them out here in California, in Hollywood, some celebrities, and in some of the counterculture centers of the world. And California is uh, addressing that or looking at addressing that in an interesting way. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah. So, um, so as you know, a lot of your listeners know, um, you know, California experienced a measles outbreak that uh, happened back in February when unvaccinated children were in contact with people who were infected with measles. And then those unvaccinated ch children caught the um, virus and then it spread to other children who were too young to be vaccinated. And uh, the California um, state legislature was um, rightfully concerned about this um, preventable disease. And so they when they you know consulted with the public health officials, what they were finding were that um, too many families were misusing the personal belief exemption in um, the California uh, vaccine laws. Uh, as you know, as they were standing, the laws were saying that if you have a personal uh, belief um, against vaccines, um, you could um, avoid having your child vaccinated and still attend public school. And so the California legislature was revisiting that, uh, has been revisiting that law to eliminate personal belief as an excuse for not getting your child vaccinated. And this has been the, uh, the nexus of recent controversy. Well, you know, it's a fascinating issue to me and uh, Sanjeev Sriram, MD, and, you know, it's one that uh, really it takes some reflection. I, 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 you know, on the one hand, we do have a tradition in this country of respecting individual beliefs and individual values. And if your individual values say maybe you're a Christian scientist, maybe you just that don't trust the uh, the uh, pharmaceutical companies, maybe whatever it may be that you don't want to vaccinate your kid. Um, on the other hand, you have the issue of uh, the effect, as we saw with the measles outbreak on the health of other people's children. We also have the tradition in this country that, as Will Rogers, the humorist, said, your uh, freedom to swing your fist ends where my nose begins. And so it, it, it's an interesting um, collision between two core American values and uh, where do you come out on that so you know i think actually will rogers got it exactly right i think that you know we, we live in a web of mutuality when it comes to our public health and you know vaccines and the success story of vaccines actually depends on everybody doing their part um, to create what you know many in the public health community have um, called herd immunity and that term has started to um, catch on in more of the mainstream dialogue and herd immunity is basically saying that if everybody who is healthy in a community decides to get vaccinated against something like measles, then the members of the herd who are too sick to get vaccinated. For instance, I'm a pediatrician, and so I know kids who have um, who are undergoing chemotherapy for leukemia. I know other kids who are the recipients of organ transplants. And these are kids where their immune systems are extremely weak and they can't get vaccinated against something like the measles. And so they're depending on their herd, their community to, you know, to get vaccinated so that when the measles comes along, it is extremely rare for those kids who are vulnerable to get the to get the virus, get the disease. And actually, we were succeeding at this. I mean, 15 years ago, you know, when we started the 21st century, there was zero zero cases of measles in the United States. And we can get there again, but it's going to require us to respect the fact that, you know, none of us is in this alone when it comes to outbreaks, that we are part of this web of mutuality where everybody's got to do their part. 